getting ready to cook some pinto beans. Let's go to cook some pinto beans. Get all white. Let's go over in the pot. This is cooking with the church girl. Making pinto beans and then my roasted chicken breast. And that's what's gonna be for dinner at the Ponderosa. Okay, now I'm going to put my beans over in my nice, this is my turkey here, as well as some ham meat from a ham bone that I had that I'm going to cook my beans in. This is smoked turkey and some ham meat that I had in the freezer, some nice ham meat from a ham bone that I had. This is what I'm seasoning my beans with. Later on, I'm going to uh, cut up some onions and peppers because we love bell peppers here over in my beans. That's what I'm gonna be seasoning my beans with. This is Cooking with Church Girl. Getting ready to cook some nice pinto beans. Now I'm just gonna add these beans right over to this pot. These are three cups of beans that I'm cooking, so I'm gonna be adding some more water. I just wanted to add my beans first so I don't add too much water. When I'm cooking my beans, I do not like to add too much water. So now I'm gonna add the water. I want. Come here, pour the water here for me, honey. I'll have my husband pour the water just above these beans and get them started. This is a pickle with church girl. Pinto beans. I'm just gonna add the water and I'll tell him when to stop. I want just enough to cover those beans. Put all of that. Okay, now I'm gonna turn these beans. Once they come to a nice boil, once these beans come to a nice boil, I'm going to turn them down on medium low and let them take their time and cook. But I'm going to do that once they come to a nice boil. This is cooking with Church Girl, pinto beans. And we're going to be roasting some chicken breast to go with these beans for dinner. This is the Church Girl at the Ponderosa. Pinto beans. Church girl is making pinto beans. Okay, I'm back. My beans is cooking really good. I cut up some bell peppers and onions. I decided to go ahead and put some onions in it. Before I said I wasn't, but I went ahead and cut up some onions and bell peppers over in these beans. They be cooking for, I guess, about an hour and 15 minutes, so now I'm gonna put them in the oven. My cousin from Mississippi told me I can take them and put them in the oven and let them finish off so they get that nice, nice broth that I like in my beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these over in the oven and let them finish cooking off in the oven. And I'm gonna come back and show you exactly how they turned out because it'll be the first time that I'm cooking them that way. But these are my pinto beans cooking with church girl. Got a nice big pot here. This is my Dutch oven. It cooks really good. I season these beans with, again, with smoked turkey, and I have ham bone and ham meat, because we you know ham bone and ham meat season beans really, really good. Now I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna put these over in the oven. I preheated my oven to 325, because that's what my cousin Dora told me to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna get them over in the oven. This is Cooking with Church Girl. I'll be back and show you the final, final product, how they turn out when they're all finished. And of course, over here, my chicken breast has been seared. I seared it down in a little olive oil and the seasoning that I like. And of course, I use my stapler, which is onion mix, and I also cut up some red onions as well with some other seasoning that I like. That's my seared chicken breast. And as always, we have a salad. 
and I make hubby's brown rice. That's what's going down at the Ponderosa. Now I've turned these off. Now I'm gonna put these over in the oven and just let them slowly continue to cook. Cooking with Church Girl. Keeping it simple here at the Ponderosa. And now I have some Lipton onion soup mix here, just a stapler. I'm gonna add some of this over to my beans. I'm gonna stir it really well. Then I'm gonna put them over, put these beans over in the oven. This is my stapler. Season your beans really, really, really good. If you like onion seasoning, this will really make your beans taste really good. So I always like to add a little onion seasoning mix to my beans. And now I'm gonna put these beans over in the oven and let them finish cooking off so they can get that nice thickening juice that I like with my beans. This is cooking with Church Girl. Okay, now I got my beans in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with this dust oven top here and let them finish cooking off in the oven. And when they complete, finish cooking in the oven, I'm gonna bring it back and let you see what, how they turn out. This is Cooking with Church Girl. Pinto beans here at the Ponderosa. Okay, my beans are all ready now. This is the final product. Now, I already gave them a taste and they are really delicious. Oh my goodness. Go on, church girl. My beans are all complete. This is the final product of my pinto beans. And I'm so glad I followed my cousin's Dora's direction. I let them cook on the stove for about an hour. Then I put them in the oven. And I turned mine down a little bit lower than she had suggested. I put mine on 200. I just let them simmer and simmer and simmer. And now they are really nice and creamy and so, so good. I seasoned these beans with some smoked turkey as well as some ham bone meat, the ham bone that I had. Also added in my stapler, which I call my onion soup mix. And I cut up some, some uh, onions and red nice bell peppers because we love bell peppers and these beans are so 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 good i did add in a little bit of my tonus original seasoning because i need a little bit more salt now they are very very delicious this is cooking with church girl southern style pinto beans and they are really really good really good cooking with church girls with these beans i'm gonna have some um some chicken, some seared chicken breasts, as well as I have some sweet potatoes also baking off here in the top of the oven because I love sweet potatoes. So I have two red sweet potatoes baking off. And of course, my husband's gonna have these beans with some rice and his seared chicken breasts. Here at the Ponderosa, that's what's going down at the Ponderosa. This is cooking with church girl. Okay, I'm back. These are my pinto beans. It came out really, really good. This is the final finished product of these pinto beans. And it came out really, really good. They are nice and smooth. They are not watery, but they're creamy just the way I wanted my pinto beans to come out. I'm very, very pleased with them. And I seasoned these beans with smoked turkey, as well as some ham bone and ham meat that I had because we know ham bone season your beans really, really good. It give those beans a good flavor. I also added in my stapler, which is my Lipton soup mix, which is nothing but a dry seasoning onion mix. And I'm here to tell you these beans are some delicious. I'm very, very pleased with the way they came out. And I'm serving today along with these beans. Of course, I'm serving some seared chicken breasts. That's seared chicken breasts with onions, as well as my Lipton onion mix. And of course, we're having brown rice. This is Cooking with Church Girl. Dinner is about to be served at the Ponderosa. Southern style homemade pinto beans. That's what's going down here at the Ponderosa. Nice big pot of Southern style pinto beans. Cooking with church girl.
nice southern style meal.